Danny Blanchflower is with us now. Those are his views. He is a professor of economics at Dartmouth College in Hanover, New Hampshire. He's also a former member of the Bank of England's Monetary Policy Committee and a Bloomberg guest columnist. Danny is with us now from Hanover, New Hampshire. Hello. Danny, thanks for checking in with us this morning. Paul Krugman wrote an op-ed in the New York Times this week saying that we are in the early stages of a so-called third depression. Is he right or is he just being dramatic? Well, it's a, it's a little bit dramatic. I would characterize it as saying there is a significant and perhaps growing risk that we could be in a, uh, in a long depression. The worry is that some countries around the world, the UK especially, and uh, to some degree also Germany, are now starting to cut so strongly that that may well push us um, into, into a long depression. It doesn't appear that the world's growing very fast. And if you start to cut at this time, Keynes taught us this is really a dangerous thing to do. So I think Krugman um, is probably right. Perhaps he's dramatized it, over-dramatized it a little bit. But I think there is a significant and growing risk that we will have a long depression. But what about this idea, Danny, that eventually austerity measures are necessary, it's necessary to have fiscal discipline, and more to the point, no one can really pay for extra public spending right now. Well, obviously there comes a point where you have to retrench. That's absolutely clear. The question really is about timing. Uh, this, the way I tend to think of it, is if you have a series of gateways and you say, let's pass through those gateways, perhaps it's levels of output, perhaps it's levels of investment, consumer spending. Um, Skidelsky says the, the time to retrench is when you're in quasi-boom. Uh, unclear necessarily where that is, but when you get there, you'll kind of know it. But it's a, set of, it's a set of gateways where the economy has really picked up. And I think the crucial thing to remember, perhaps, is that when banks are back lending normally, we, that, that's the big difference between now and, and, and previous shocks in the last 50 years. Banks are still not lending around the world. Yet were you at all heartened by what we heard from the ECB yesterday? That is to say that banks took about half of what at least the market expected them to take. Was that cheering to you? Right. I, th I think that was quite cheering. Um, and, and we'll see. Obviously, there's growing worries today about Spain and whether Spain's going to get downgraded. Um, so there's little bits of news coming in. But I was, I've been very struck by, in the UK and the US, the big dip in consumer confidence, especially in expectations. We saw that in the US. And then a couple of days later, we saw exactly the same thing in the UK. So what we've been having is bits of mixed data. Um, one day it's good, the next day it's bad. This is, however, not, not times to be doing draconian cuts like in the UK. They're talking about 25% cuts. Where in the past, we've never seen anything more than 4% cuts in public spending. So yes, data are some, some mixed data, but firms aren't investing, firms are hiring, uh, and, and trade doesn't look like it's going to pull countries out. So. This is, these are dangerous times again. Uh, Danny, don't you think the UK just is afraid of becoming another Greece? Well, it seems to be afraid of being another Greece, but I've been writing endlessly in Bloomberg and other places that uh, the UK is demonstrably not Greece, has a central bank, it can, it can do quantitative easing, has a separate exchange rate, and Greece essentially has no fiscal regime. It has, it's been voted by the World Bank, I think, the, the worst place in the OECD to do business in. So the UK is demonstrably not Greece, talking the economy down, as the government appears to be doing, might well do that. But I certainly don't think that the UK is Greece. And the US is not Greece either. Danny, we have to leave it. Thank you very much. Danny Blanchflower joining us. He is a professor. At